Okay, you're back with the Passion Fruit Walrus, and uh, we are heading this way. Now, there's a bunch of uh, big fucking knights in this area. I think there's also a Mimic. It's like one of the few that are in this game. Down. fuckers with the swords and they're always the difficult ones in this in this bit as well they're the ones with the sword and the club rather than the uh, the nice easy guy with the fucking sword and shield stop staggering oh fuck off fuck you right Okay. Nice! Not too bad at all. Now then, pretty sure this is a fucking mimic. Uh, fuck it, we'll see how it goes. Fuck it. Not well, is, is the answer. Fuck, it's slow getting the health back, isn't it? Shit, this is a really slow gem. At least the fucking Mimic's nearly down all its health, but fuck. There you are. Fuck you, you bastard. Right. Now, I don't think this is one. I will double check, though. Yeah, it's a regular one. Or might be a trap. No, it's just a regular one. Firestorm. There we go. Anyone who's interested in pyromancy and hasn't played this before, that's where that is. Now, seeing as I've got fuck all health left, and I don't think I really want to risk getting murdered by the desert sorceresses, I think I'm just going to do this the other way. Alright, so you can either go through the room with the desert sorceresses and open the door that's right underneath me that's a one-way door, or you can just drop down. Which is what I'm doing, because it's a bit easier at the moment. So yeah, back to the bonfire, then back to the room with the lift, and then we go up the lift and things and see what we can see. Right. Um. Yeah. I can't remember if this lift has like a double stage or not. Like if there's a a secret area underneath. There might be. I'm not entirely sure. I don't th there might not be. I'm sure there is somewhere in this game, but uh, maybe I'm confusing it with something else. And we have a gimp on a door. <laughs> it's one of the sort of weird little things that's in this game. No key, yeah. So basically you have to get a key to, to open that. And there's a chick inside. I think there's an invader or something up here as well. Strong magic shield. Vessel and fire seed. Key to the King's Passage. That's what we want. Now, I think... I think that key will open the door at the bottom of the lift, which we couldn't unlock um, a little while earlier. So I think that's 
that's what you need to do. I think it's the King's Passage we're opening up. Who are? With no lubrication whatsoever. Yeah, use the King's Passage key. Okay, and it's this one. Okay. Right then, so... Um, right. We've got another boss through the fog door. Um, some of these statues will attack us as we go through. You can either run through them and get to the fucking door, or you can fight your way through. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually do, like, slowly aggro them all in. Or if they all activate at once. As I've been mobbed quite a few times here. Now, it's the ones with heads that will activate. Oh, fuck. They, they don't do it. Um... Right, okay, fuck. Right. But they're fast and uh, they do quite a bit of damage. But that was actually surprisingly easy. Um, yeah. Okay, fuck it. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. Oh, why the fuck did I use that up? That was a bit of a cock up. Right. It can be worth killing them um, because there's uh, another summon sign up here somewhere. There, for example. And uh, it can be sort of good to have help with this boss fight because he is a bit of a fucker. Not only is he pretty tough on his own, but he will summon um, enemies to to fight you. Oh good, we got Benhard as well. Right, so this is going to be the Mirror Knight. Oh, okay, Looking Glass Knight. Well, he took a lot of fucking stamina down. And he is following the uh, the Dark Souls 2 tradition of being yet another dude in armour. Oh, cock. I did sort of see that coming, I just didn't really react in time. Right. What am I even doing? I'm not even touching this guy. Right. Come on, stamina back up. And once he does that, you get a uh, a guy climbing out of the mirror, and he'll come and fight you. Now, I don't know if... Um, good riddance to him. Okay, main guy. And you're toast. You're mirror carrying pansy. Good. So that's that done. Now we're off to fight a singing frog. <laughs> and you think I'm joking. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, there's a chest there. Almost didn't see that. Fucking hell.
Soul bolt, bolt, spell quartz ring, and bonfire ascetic. Um, now, if you don't know what a bonfire ascetic is, it basically resets an area. Um, I think it says on the description it, it makes enemies more, more um, like tougher. Um, I'm not sure if that's really true or not, but oh, actually, I think it might be. Um, but basically, I think it puts it up to like new game plus or something on that level, or it just sort of resets the level. So if you want to get boss weapons and things, I think you can possibly like farm boss souls and things by by doing that. You can certainly fight the boss of an area a second time and you know, up to as many as it will do. Um, but yeah, I mean like, if you, yeah, basically just whatever bonfire it is, it'll reset the area and like the boss will be reset and you can fight him again. If, you, if you're good at the game and you want lots of souls, that's one way you can do it. But it, it, uh, I, like the first time I played the game, I was like, just, "I'm not fucking doing that." It's like, why would I want the enemies to be tougher? It's just ridiculous. <laughs> but um, yeah, later on, once you start sort of getting the the hang of it and you sort of know roughly how to deal with the bosses and things, then it can be a lot more worthwhile doing. I don't think I'm going to do it in this this part, but oh well, in this game. But I don't know. I might do it somewhere and just sort of. Don't fall over! Oh, fuck. Oh, I survived. Okay. Now this is an absolute fucker, really, because you've got all this water and you think you can just walk on it, but fuck, no, you can't. Now, if you can see the difference, I'm standing on a ledge, and the darker part, that's just a drop down to your death. Because my character can't swim. Although how, he'd, how she'd swim with all that fucking armour on is anyone's guess. Oh, sorry, I thought that was a creature. This is a creature. They have little fireflies hanging over them. And they're like funny swamp hag things. Um. Now where's the next fucking bonfire? I think it's all the way up there. So I think what I might do is head back up here and bugger off back to Majula quickly to level up. Because we've got quite a few souls and we've still got the... Uh, the Mirror Knight soul to pop, so it would be worth doing that to uh, level up as much as we can. I think it's something you sort of don't notice quite as much the first time you play it, but once you play it a bit, you uh, you get the idea that you, as soon as you've got a lot of souls, you really need to let level up as as much and as often as you can. Like, even if it's just, like, one level up, it's, it's worth just nipping back to a bonfire or to the, the Green Sentinel or whatever and just leveling up because it helps keep you sort of, well, up to scratch, basically, because you'll be fighting harder and harder enemies as you go along. So the highest level you can be as often as possible is just, you know, the best thing you can be doing. Ooh, three. Um, right. Yeah, let's get that to 40, then. Then I only need ten to be able to carry that big fuck off hammer that I picked up. Don't have any shards, I don't think. Oh, but I got quite a bit of souls still. So can I upgrade anything while I'm here? I knew. I knew you'd be around soon. I'm a colossal wanker. Right. Uh, still can't do anything with that. I need large titanite. Maybe I should buy it from what's her face. Now I could buy. Th oh no, I've got that. Right. Okay, that's fine. Um, not got many of them though. Um, fuck it, let's start reinforcing that. Just 
I think I might like to try that out at some point. And, uh, see if it's any good. I might try the, uh, like, just show off the, um, uh, the old night hammer as well. Just to sort of show you what that's like. Uh, is there anything else I might want to use? Not really. Uh, anything with 100%, uh, uh, there's that, but it's bloody heavy, of course. Mm. 31 against curse. 20, 30, 50. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, oh, 41. Hmm. Okay. I'll leave those. Can I do anything with this? Probably not. I could upgrade those, upgrade those, but I'm not that bothered. Right. Okay. I'll we'll leave it for now. Right, so I think we'll just see if we can buy anything from her. Well, Any Titanite. Oh, bugger. Some of them are ex none of the differences. Right, I want to buy... Uh, small, large, let's get large. Oh, bugger. Right, two of those. Two of those. Visit me again. Cheers, Chicky. Let's go. So... Bloody hell. Right, so back to the Shrine of Amana. Um, yeah. Now this is an area that is really good to have poison arrows for. Um, because there's lots of little sorcerous people and uh, they shoot like these homing soul things at you and uh, it's a bloody nuisance because they can sort of snipe from a long way across the map. Um, it's a bit different in Scholar of the First Sin because there's less of them. Um, but in the original game there's quite a lot, so being able to just shoot them with a few arrows and then just, just wait behind cover while they just die from the poison is really helpful. Um, He's gonna whack me then. Ah, oh, straight helm again. Nice, nice. No, I don't want a kiss. Have you seen this state of you? At least do something. Like someone needs a fucking makeover. Oh, a nice effigy. I'm using the mace quite a lot, and it does take quite a while before it uh, gets broken. But if you are using it like a lot, and you're going quite a while between bonfires, it can be worth like carrying two, because you don't really want to run out of weapon. This is that's partly why I carry two, like why I've got the fire long sword and the uh, the mace. But like if you just using the mace like I am at the moment, then it can be good to just carry two of those. Just double up on whatever weapon you like, really, if, if that's a thing, because then you can uh, just replace it with one breaks, as long as it's not too heavy. Right, let's talk to this chick. We knew you were coming. And stop singing. We are Milfanito. We are here to sing to those bound by death and dark. We will sing here forever, as we always have from long, long ago. We know nothing of the world outside. And why should we? For we will never leave. Do you seek King Vendrick? Sure do. But what is a king, after all? Do with a crown on his head. We know nothing of the world outside. 
for we will never leave here. Well, how the hell do you even know about Vendrick then? When we sing, the little ones dance. The little ones grant comfort to those who bear death and dark. This is what we were taught. Is there anything wrong? Perhaps this will help. This is all that we can do. When we sing, the little ones, the little ones got this is what Okay, so that's that done. So there's a poison urn around here somewhere. Okay. Crimson water. Right then. So we've got a trek along there. I think this is probably like my least favourite area of the game. And it's just... It's a sort of long, slow slog and you've got to be careful what you do. Because it's very easy to get murdered. Okay, buddy. Come on, then. Like, it's quite easy for those two guys to come up and mob you together. Like, one-on-one, -on -one, they're not too bad, but if they mob you, they can be an absolute pain. And, of course, if you miss the, um... The, uh, the things in the... Fucking water! Then they can mob you while these things are mobbing you, and then fuck you know. But uh, yeah, that went okay. Got a lot of hats off those guys. Right, so there's a few more guys in the water, or girls, or whatever the fuck these things are. Yeah, I mean they're not too bad as long as you catch them. Well, as long as you spot them in time and you're sort of ready for them. But if you don't notice the little fireflies or you don't know what's coming, they're a nuisance. But they're usually a nice little one-two with the uh, the mace, so they're not a major problem. So that's something at least. Go on then, fucker. Okay, good. I was just sort of doing that for the souls more than anything else. Ah, another one there. Oh yes, and they do bleed damage, of course. Great. And there's a nice little chest here. Possibly. Dragon charm. Something I won't be using. Uh, of course, there's a drop off to your death there if you're not careful as well. Uh, right then. Uh, so we've got these bug things. They, I think they do like corrosive mist. These ones, so they destroy your armor. chest. Okie dokie. And this is just a new area, it's not a boss fight, not yet. Right then, so let's see, now where 
my shoulder pad is, there's a little woman, and she's just uh, where the, the flowers are. She is a fucking sniper, and she will shoot magic shit at you. But if you go into this building, you should be able to avoid it. And there's a lovely bonfire just here where we can warm our tootsies and not get hit by bloody spells. Right. So I think we'll leave it there. So thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.